um, it's a little bit like a native tea garden, basically. Um, so in, when that's a circle over there, um, that will have a um, fire pit in it and the capacity to, um, to boil tea. Um, and I've selected a lot of plants that are used in um, bush teas. Um, Aboriginal people have used them for a long time. Um, and they're easy to find now, which is, which is nice. Um, and then, aside from that, it's really strongly scented trees. Um, like the tree here. So there's three tonnes of rocks here. Um, and basically, the, um, around this circular area here, there will be a big curved rock wall, quite neatly stacked. Uh, and with two um, wooden sleeper seats embedded in them. And then that will actually taper off and it will fall into a dry creek bed after that. Yeah. So um, if I put on my designer cap, I'd say, so it shows a really great relation to um, natural materials rising to become man-made and dilapidating back down into natural. But really, I think it's just a nice effect. Um, and I was, I, I really wanted to use water because it's such a peaceful element. Um, but I also kind of wanted to have a bit of nod to the fact that Australia is such a dry country. And I know I've seen a lot of designers um, create um, dry creek beds that give a sense of water without actually having to have water there. It's kind of almost like the promise of water uh, if it would just rain kind of thing. So, yeah, so that's kind of the centipede, uh, centipede. and then um, lots of plants in all the gaps all around this softly edge and so on.